Hey guys, Andy here, and today I figure I'd give you all a little update on the state of the Andy Sand. As far as YouTube stuff goes, I've been uh, pretty busy streaming on this channel in particular, and because of that, I've decided by popular demand to make all of my live streams public. So before, I would just make my most recent live stream public, and that's just so that way you'd be able to go through and find my pre-recorded content a lot easier rather than having to wade through a whole bunch of live streams. But since I'm not making as much pre-recorded content for this channel as I used to, I figure, eh, what the hell. <laughs> we'll just make all the live streams public. So at least it shows that I'm doing something on this channel, right? So now you guys can uh, safely enjoy the uh, live streams and whatnot. And of course, they're always on the My Live Streams playlist as well. So if you want to marathon that, be my guest. And as far as other content for the Andy Japani channel, I've been looking through a lot of uh, older footage that I had recorded last year that I didn't get around to putting together just because of time, basically. And I definitely want to get those videos out as well. Some of them are a little long, kind of think of like day in the life of a Japanese study abroad student, uh, something in that vein. And most of them are kind of short as well. And then as far as my editing channel goes, Adam Media, I've noticed a definite downturn in the amount of people watching my tutorial videos. And my recent tutorial video didn't really do all that well either. So I've had to think of a new strategy for that channel and I have a really good idea for upcoming content for that channel. I don't want to hype it up too much but uh, right now I'm just in the planning stages for some new quality content for that channel in particular that I see pretty much nobody else really doing. So it's gonna be a very interesting to say the least. And as far as personal life goes, well just did my first full week back at Lakeland University of Japan under the bachelor's program. Uh, still doing the whole online classes thing, which allows me to work from home and gives me a lot more flexibility with my schedule for other things as well. And not gonna lie, you know, it feels good to, uh, to be back in school. You know, it just feels right. And I just can't wait to uh, finish things up at Lakeland, get my bachelor's degree, and uh, get a work visa out here in Japan. But uh, yeah, things are definitely moving in the right direction. Sorry I'm not really updating guys as much as I'd like as far as the goings on and getting more specific about things. Uh, mostly just because I want to jinx it and also stuff happens, so you never know. Got a lot of good things to look forward to on the horizon, you know, working with new people on new projects. And speaking of new projects, this will be the last little bit here, I'm looking at getting a new camera. So just had a video shoot a couple weeks back where you know somebody else is going to bring in a bunch of cameras and whatnot and they forgot one of the key cameras for the shoot and it just kind of was what it was I'm not really blaming them at all but it did kind of set up a red flag in, in my brain saying you know what if like something happened to the equipment like what if it either got lost or got damaged or you know battery failed or SD card was on the fritz or something you know with uh, with camera gear it's always something right you know what if I had to do this entire shoot with just this camera right here and considering the other types of gear that they were using um, it wouldn't really have matched the style and plus I've been having problems with this camera for a while now so I figure now is a good time to uh, to upgrade and get myself back into the Sony family. So really looking forward to that. At the end of the month, hopefully is what I'm planning. I'll be uh, purchasing the new Sony Alpha A7C camera. Originally I was gonna go for the A7 III, but after looking at some reviews and stuff like that for it, I totally forgot about the record limit. And seeing as a lot of my gigs have a really long run times. Uh, just setting it up on the tripod and hitting record just uh, ain't get a cut it for that camera. So I figured I'd just get the A7C Plus. It has the newer Sony autofocus system, which is just so on it. 
you know, I tried both cameras out at uh, one of the Japanese camera stores out in Tokyo, and the A7C was just on it every single time. Now, does it have its drawbacks? Of course, and we'll be getting into that with an unboxing slash review. I think, you know, for me, and especially for the price point, getting back into the Sony family and also into the full frame family, say that three times fast, um, it's definitely gonna be a good camera to get me started, so. Anyway, that's uh, all I wanted to say in this little update video. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy San. Sign it for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Get to you later, guys. Bye.